Hey guys, Jared back. So for those of you that have a rooted Nexus 4 and don't want to wait for the uh, over-the-air update but uh, are willing to manually update to Android 4.4 KitKat, uh, this video is for you, but of course we're going to need to download a few files first, so let's go ahead, switch over to the computer, and get started. Alrighty guys, so first thing you're going to need to download is the ROM. Uh, now, Paranoid Android, or at least the team, have gone ahead and compiled AOSP Android 4.4 KitKat for you. It's not the actual Paranoid Android ROM, it's just straight up pure Android. Um, the only problem is right now is that because so many people are downloading it from their servers, it's completely crashed out. So I've went ahead and uploaded it to my Mega account, so I'll have a download mirror in the link in the description below, and it'll probably be quicker to download it uh, through my Mega account anyways. Uh, uh, other than that, what you're going to need to do is download the latest 4.4 Android KitKat G-Apps package. That's right. So they have that as well. So here's G-Apps right here. And of course, I'll have a link in the description uh, to this. So you're going to click on that. And as you can see, it's just a 119.84 megabyte file. So you're going to download that. Uh, next thing you're going to want to download is SuperSU, the latest version of SuperSU uh, from Chainfire. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a link in the description below for that as well. It's uh, Super User, sorry, SuperSU version 1.65. And you're going to scroll down the page just a little bit here. And if you look at this link right here and you click on that one, that'll actually give you a um, zip, uh, like a dot zip file, a uh, uh, recovery flashable file. So uh, after that, you're going to need to download Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now, I know for those of you out there that like your TWRP like I do, unfortunately, TWRP isn't actually working with flashing uh, Android 4.4 KitKat right now. It just keeps returning fails. So uh, there will be a link in the description below to this page as well. And if you actually come over here, you'll notice that we've got some flashable zips as well. So you can flash these in um, TWRP. And when you reboot recovery, it'll actually um, reboot into Clockwork Mod recovery, but we're going to go ahead and show you how to do all this right now. Let's go ahead and switch back to the phone. Alrighty, so once you've pushed all of those files to your internal storage, and for those of you that out there that are wondering how do you push files to your internal storage, just plug your phone into your PC and drop the files onto your internal storage, okay? Uh, so next thing you're going to want to do is power off and we're going to have to boot into recovery. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and boot into recovery. I do it by pressing volume down and the power button at the same time. And in just a few magic moments, we'll be in here. Use the volume down button to go once, twice into recovery mode, power button to hit enter. Alrighty, so obviously I've already flashed uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery, but for those of you that are running TWRP, what you're going to do is go to Install Zip, obviously, and then choose Zip from SD Card, and then go ahead to the file that you uh, have uh, pushed it to, go ahead and locate it. We're going to scroll down, and you'll notice we have cl uh, Recovery Clockwork uh, Touch 6.0.4.3, so go ahead and flash that. Once you flash that in TWRP, in the main menu, go to Reboot, and then click on Reboot Recovery, and then you'll boot right into uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. So next thing that we're going to do, obviously because you still have a uh, ROM installed in your phone, we're going to need to do Wipe Data Factory Reset. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Then you're going to go ahead and Wipe Cache. And then we're going to go to Advanced and we're going to Wipe Delvet Cache. And click Yes. Alrighty, now we're going to click on go back and we're going to click on install zip and choose it from SD card go to the folder that all of your files are located in. Uh, so then we're going to obviously flash the ROM now. So as you can see, it's PA AOSP Mako.zip. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. We're going to flash that and give that just a moment. Alrighty, now that that's flashed, we're going to go ahead and click on choose file from uh, SD card again. Jump back in there, all the way down to the bottom. And next thing we're going to do is um, uh, flash the G Apps Mini, um, which you can. I showed you how to download that. So we're going to flash that and yes install. Um, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but um, the uh, the mini package at the moment, the time of me recording this, is the only package, GApps package, that Paranoid Android has right now that is a 4.4. It's a very light package with like the Play Store and Hangouts and that's about it. Um, so just be prepared for that. So you will have to download all the other GApps that you want manually from the uh, Play Store. Uh, so now that that's installed, we're going to go ahead back here and back into there and scroll on down. And as you can and see update super SU version 1.65 so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and install alrighty now that that's done we can go ahead and go back and we can click on reboot system now and we'll give that just a moment to reboot alrighty so we're all rebooted and if you don't mind I'm gonna go ahead and skip through this really quickly 
Alrighty, now that we skipped through all that, as you can see, we are on Android 4.4 KitKat, but just in case you don't believe me, uh, just like the beginning of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on down to About Phone and Android version 4.4. And here's the new uh, Easter egg. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. There goes Android, but there's a hidden Easter egg for those of you that didn't know. So that comes up and that's cool. Then you pr long press it again, but then get back in there long press it again and the new Easter egg comes up swipe down from the top to uh, exit full screen and you can go ahead and click there and as you start tapping around that stuff just starts relocating itself then to back out of it pull down because this is sort of demonstrating the new um, full screen mode that they've got go ahead and click back and back again and we're out of there Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, if you did like it and you found it helpful, go ahead and click that likes button down below. It always goes a long way. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've got my Nexus 5 on order and should be here around November the 9th, so I will be a little bit behind the times. Nevertheless, expect some more videos um, for the Nexus 4 with Android 4.4 KitKat in the coming days and any other possible device that uh, you might be able to get. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.